Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. We have a big Bachelor versus Love is Blind crossover engagement. Blake Blake Horseman, I was going to say Blake Moines, not yet. Blake Horseman proposed to Giannina Gabelli, and she said yes. That's right, folks. She said yes. He got down on one knee in the least surprising engagement of all time. Why? Because they have like a 17-year-old child. <laughs> Not that old. They've got maybe 17 months. They've got a baby. They put off the engagement and the wedding and all that for good reason. They were, you know, expecting. And it's like, you know, I know there's different uh, thought processes. Uh, you can rush to the altar. And it's and it's also like it's 2024. Who cares if you're Nona, you, you know, your 99 year old Nona is upset because you had a baby out of wedlock. It's like, listen, we're not getting, you know, we're not getting married at 16 like Jebediah did over there. You know what I mean? Anyhow, I digress. So here's the post. So I can kiss you anytime I want. And then of course he tags Brilliant Earth. He got her an absolute rock. I mean, you can see this ring from outer space. So there he is. He proposes. And look, I mean, I'm not saying she wasn't surprised, but I have this joke about like when you when you propose in your 30s, um, it's not she said yes, it's she said sure. It's like, okay, there, yeah, absolutely. I mean, imagine if she said no. It's like you got a child together. You live together. You do all the, so I, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Who would have thought this would have happened? But either way, they look beautiful. They've got that sort of, um, you know, off-white, you know, banana cream outfit look happening here. And you, you could tell, uh, and, and again, we make these videos just to roast the people that we love, but you can tell uh, Blake is getting old as a dad when he has to use his left hand to get down on his knee. He's got a busted knee, folks. He's got the old Mike Tyson. He's getting old. DJing's taking its toll. He crowd surfed the wrong way one day, and here it is, pulled the glute. So he's getting down on a knee and um, doing his thing. She said yes, very happy, of course. There it is. Beautiful photo, solar flare, sun flare. I don't know if this is real or added in post, but it's gorgeous. And again, what a rock. Holy cow. Where did he mine for that? Uh, so we'll get, and by the way, I like his checkered shirt here. Blake's got good style. I don't know what brand of the shirt is. Can you tag the shirt for us? And then uh, Giannina's got the nails done. We're looking at the nails, folks. There it is with a nice uh, lace kind of outfit. And then the photo, the, the photo right there. She's got, oh boy, I mean, where do you put this thing? You know, send that through TSA. How did he hide it? She's like, is that a bulge in your pants? Or are you happy to see me? And he's like, that's four and a half carats. That's what that is. So there they are. And then they're cute baby. So what a what a loving moment. And they're going to have the, uh, you know, similar thing we've seen in other Bachelor Nation relationships where, hey, sometimes you have the baby first. In my case, we were dating for 10 years then got engaged and then had a baby relatively quickly. But people are like, oh, you didn't waste any time. It's like, we already, we, we spent plenty of time already in our 20s. Uh, so there they are. And again, interesting relationship. They met on, um, boy, I'm blanking on the uh, uh, All Star Shore, which was a combination of different reality shows uh, from Jersey Shore to Love is Blind to Bachelor to you know, whatever other shores they had, they had like uh, the British shore. I think they had like a uh, um, Dayton, Daytona Beach shore, whatever the different shores were. And they met on the show and they quickly fell in love. I mean, it actually happened pretty f fast in hindsight. So what we like to do whenever there's a wedding or engagement in Bachelor Nation, and by the way, I do want to pull up her page to see what she's got going on on her end. Because we know, I mean, you think he's got a big following, Giannina's crushing it out there so let's go to her page right now she's at 1.9 million followers so she's i mean he's 675 thousand. oh i don't follow blake my bad i didn't even know that whoopsie so she's at 1.9 million so she's rocking it all of her pinned photos are the beautiful baby they had i understand the world and then of course she's there uh collaborating on that photo so what we like to do when we have a wedding or an engagement uh, or a birth announcement, whatever, is we like to look at how many product uh, endorsements there are. Because look, getting engaged when you have 1.9 million followers is a money-making machine. Make sure you profit off of this moment. Sell the photos to People Magazine. Uh, take as many sponsorships as you can. So my guess is with 1.9 million followers in today's economy, there will be at least nine products that are mentioned here, which is a lot. 
It actually might be a lot lower than that. When it's a wedding, you got the florals, the cake, the jazz musician, the uh, garter belt company. I mean, you really have it all. Uh, so anyhow, here they are. Uh, Bachelor Nation's Blake and Giannina are engaged after nearly three years together, and she calls it the best feeling in the world. I'm already, I'm already feeling like I overestimated. Can I change my number to four? I'm going to say four product placement. Uh, Blake proposed to Gibelli uh, late last month while on a trip to Madrid, Spain. He got down on one knee at the Parc del Retiro and popped the question with a 4.87 carat lab-grown diamond ring from Brilliant Earth. Good golly, 4.87 carats. I mean, that's about a Cinco right there. Lab-grown, who cares? They really grew that, that. What kind of lab did they have to go to to get a, a, you know, a ring that size? Um, Park Del Retiro, even though they're not linked there, it's, I'm still going to count that as a brand endorsement, so they're already at two. I'd been looking for the perfect ring for over a year, Horseman told People, where uh, when sharing the engagement news on Wednesday. I had an idea of what she wanted, cut, clarity, etc., but I didn't want to go and pick out a ring with her. I really wanted the ring to be a complete surprise. You know what? Actually, at this point, I, I, I feel like I'm in the wrong article. So if he t spoke to people, let's go to the people article. All right, they have the exclusive. My apologies. So we still have two. We have the, um, we have the uh, Brilliant Earth Company and, of course, uh, where they stayed. I'd been looking for the perfect ring for over a year. I had an idea of what she wanted, cut clarity, but I didn't want to go and pick out a ring with her. I really wanted the ring to be a complete surprise. Um, the stunning piece also featured an 18 karat yellow gold Lux Versailles shank detailed with small diamonds. Um, instead, uh, Gibelli was so thrilled by the surprise proposal she, he shares, she actually said yes before I could open the box to show her the ring. Oh, I mean, well, it goes to show the ring's not important. She's like, the the box felt heavy. I knew there was a he heavy rock in there. It's like, uh, what's that um, show where you say yes to the box, deal or no deal? <laughs> she did the deal. When she did finally see the ring, she was breathless and so happy. So that felt really amazing. We are over the moon and we can't wait to be married in front of our loved ones. Uh, she described the engagement as the best feeling in the world. Our love story has been everything I've always dreamt it would be and more. As soon as I met Blake, I knew he was my soulmate and I knew the universe was always leading me to him. Being together forever and creating our family is literally the joy of my life. How sweet is that? Now, both of, the, of their reality stories previous to this were interesting, right? She had sort of like that failed engagement thing on Love is Blind. Remember, she like fell in the mud. She had a muddy dress. No more mud on the dresses. Then Blake, of course, didn't work out. He was heartbroken by Becca Kufrin. Um, on again, off again, goes on Love is Blind. That didn't go well for him. Uh, we've always been a fan and supported uh, his work that he does. The pair first met while filming the crossover reality TV series All Star Shore, which aired in 2022. In July that year, she revealed that she and Horseman, who was also a contestant, were already having engagement conversations. I'm definitely not uncomfortable talking about being engaged to him or just spending the rest of my life with him. I think the feeling's mutual, and I would be the happiest person in the entire world, but no rush. She had everything has its own time and needs to develop naturally. But honestly, I'm good. This is it. This is it for me. Yes, we love a natural engagement. Months later, she shared on Instagram she had officially moved into his Colorado home. Alongside a series of loved up photos of the couple in their cozy digs, she wrote, Honey, I am home officially. So there they are. And by the way, this is, you know, my son's the same way with breastfeeding. He's like, uh, hands off the merch. That's for me now. Um uh, so he said, no one was expecting it, but their reactions have been spectacular, they told people at the time. There was a lot of screaming, happy tears, and jumping around. I think our friend's jaws are still on the ground. Our baby is so loved already. Uh, their son named Heath made his arrival on March 29th. His first breath took ours away. Oh, he's only, he's only a month older than my son. Yeah, they grow up fast, don't they? She, uh, so anyway, they just kind of recount everything from the relationship. Though he is only seven months old, baby Heath has already enjoyed some big adventures with his parents. In recent weeks, as seen on her Instagram, the family has visited Disneyland, embarked on a mini tour of Europe with stops in Paris and, of course, Madrid, where Heath got to be part of his mom and dad's engagement. Grew up coming here, and now I get to share it with my own little fam. What is life? Now, by the way, we share that Blake and Giannina got robbed in Paris. How lucky they didn't steal the ring of all things that, that were robbed. Uh, clearly, they didn't get the... I'm assuming they didn't get the ring. Uh, but anyhow, so only two products were mentioned. Uh, I was completely wrong. They didn't cash in like I thought they would. And I wouldn't have blamed them either way. Wait for the wedding. I'm telling you right now, they're going to make their money back. You know, because what happens is you get an event planner 
they 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 tell you who's going to go to the wedding between her instagram followers and his you're looking at you know 50 million impressions so when you're a caterer or whatever you are chances are you're going to want to you know on a higher level work with influencers like this to uh, get your product or name out there if you're like the local you know chair guy no one you know you got to pay for those but if you're like i don't know some name dj who knows either way um, the beauty is when you're really worth the money, you don't have to do this at all and you can just pay the big bucks so you can get what you want and not do any product dealing. But hey, they're influencers, right? That's that's how you make your bread and butter. All right, she said yes and we move on with our life. A nice happy story for your hump day. If you want more happy stories, I got them on the Rush Hour podcast. The morning episode's already out and I have the afternoon coming up in a couple hours. So hit that, uh, scan that QR code or just search old school with your thumbs the Rush Hour with Dave Neal, wherever you listen to podcasts, whether in your car or, you know, while you're doing dishes or lovemaking. I'm not going to judge you. Do whatever the hell you want. I'll be there for you, though. We'll talk to you then. Bye, everybody.